in the same very frustrating way that a red Tahoma with buckets and ladders is a dime a dozen in East Tennessee. The sedan that is being searched for with regards to the disappearance of little Cleo Smith, it's very common here in Australia. Australia manufactured Ford vehicles for decades here and the Ford Falcon sedan in its various models was manufactured for 56 years. They only stopped in 2016 and they're one of Australia's favourite muscle cars. They're iconic, everyone owns one at some point in their lives. Indeed my family in New Zealand dad had a Ford Falcon station wagon for a number of years uh, which was just awesome for our camping holidays. So a silver Ford Falcon sedan. Very very common. They get passed from hand to hand a lot of the time. Sometimes they're people's first car. Every now and then they are a vehicle that people keep and maintain for its lifetime, the vehicle's lifetime. So there's such a gamut of possibility, but the fact is they're everywhere. So this was someone the Neurodi Neurodiversity Academy in a thread on Peter Hyatt's um, video about Cleo. Um, just mentioned that on Reddit they're talking about it. This is my information. Da, 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 da. No, but I'm pretty sure um, this is the truth. We've known that we're looking for a sedan and it's going to take a lot of chasing up but possibly there's someone that was at the blowholes, blowholes campsite who's now at another campsite and the police know it and they're going to interview them I imagine they'll be out at all the mining sites as well um, Rio Tinto etc and they've got a lot of leg work work to do but I think I might have been saying before the big disappointment is going to be obviously that they they don't even have a partial license plate from CCD footage on the Great Northern Great Northwestern Highway the other little thing I was going to mention is that it was noted six weeks ago on social media by Ali that Cleo is fully toilet trained. So I don't know the timeline of this photograph with her and her little sister in their um, cute little onesie jammies, the pink and blue ones, where I can see she's clearly wearing a pull up underneath that but perhaps she's had these pull ups for a while, these onesies. Children grow so quickly though but who knows and um, maybe she wasn't wearing a pull up right even though you'd think well just in case but a little girl might say no I'm growing up now I don't want to wear it um, but the whole ad for our pull-ups over here is I'm a big kid now and the little girl can pull up you know a boy can pull up a pair of um, le leak proof underwear that are more like children's underwears than nappies so that they therefore feel growing up so yeah, just those couple of things to add. I'm uploading now um, the timeline as given by Detective Superintendent Rod Wild. Uh, he's of the Major Crimes um, Division over in Western Australia. So I'm uploading that now, but I thought I'd just have a chat about these two things. What do you know? It's a Ford Falcon sedan. We made millions of them here in Australia. Um, the economy, you know, people's employment, people's livelihoods were destroyed when, you know, as the car industry disappears. It was 
an amazing time, I'm sure, after the war finished in, in the 50s, in 56, when you know, industry like that begins in a country like Australia. You know, and there was a time when the manufacturing was emulating the design of the Falcons um, as per American specifications, then, you know, as things progressed, Australia was able to um, redesign something more suitable to our conditions and the way people live and work and drive and enjoy and car culture here is it's huge okay and <laughs> it's a rite of passage <laughs> nearly to have a Ford although you've got the same little um, rivalries are you Ford or Commodore, you know? <laughs> I mean, Ford or um, Holden. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought, I mean, statistically, I guess it's likely, but it's like, what are the odds at the same time? It's like, what are the breaks, you know, really? Uh, a sedan scene, and it's probably going to be a light colour. Maybe they do know the colour and it's silver which is a common enough colour and it has to be one of the most popular car makes and models of all time in Australia. Um, an icon. Yeah. I will speak to you soon.